the vlog. So welcome to our little road trip. We are heading to Quebec for a few days, Mont Tremblant, and then Montreal, and then a little bit towards the southern part of Quebec as well. But I'm excited. It should be a nice little fall getaway. Escape the city for a few days, see some of the colors, go on some hikes, and yeah. So we're currently driving. We have another like four and a half hours to go. We're gonna stop in Ottawa for a little bit because I've never been, so I'm excited for that as well. But, hope you guys enjoy. We think we have arrived. There's like a few little cabins in the same area, so we shall see. All right, doing a little bit of an evening tour because it is already late now that we're here, but this is home for the next two days. The bathroom. Oh, the floors are heated. The floors in here are heated. Yeah. Oh, that's so nice. Okay. Last up. Got two bedrooms. There's one over here, but then this is the master. This is probably one of the most delicious glasses of red wine I've ever had. Someone gave us this red wine at our engagement party, and it's a California 2021, and it's delicious. I'm a big fan. Of the wine? Buying this wine from now on.
morning you guys welcome to day one we are currently in Montremblant. we've been having honestly just like a really slow morning we just finished <coughs> breakfast Han's like cleaning up behind me because i made breakfast so he's gonna clean up drinking my coffee i think we're about to get ready and possibly go on a hike and go into Montremblant village and just explore a little bit there because i've never been to this area of quebec but it's a little bit of a gloomy, I don't want to say gloomy because yesterday ended up being pouring rain and today now is kind of just like gray, but there's little pockets of sun breaking through over the trees and it's just like you can see them breaking through over there. But honestly, this trip is pretty chill because I really wanted it to be an escape from the city, a break and like a kind of relax and rejuvenation trip. So we've really just been taking our time, slowing down, easing into our days. But I think I'm gonna get ready now and we're gonna head out soon. Here's the look today. I'm wearing this little set from Buff Bunny Collection, navy jacket, and then I threw this on over top because it's a little bit chilly out right now. When the sun comes out, it's beautiful. But then I have a little Buff Bunny scrunchie as well. And the bangs are banging today. They look pretty good. So let's head out. So we got to Montremblant Village and it turns out that the gondola is closed for repairs for the season. So we won't be doing that, but we're gonna walk around the village for a bit, find something for lunch, and then maybe go on a trail too. It's an awful house and I want it to get you out. I'm working on a plan right now to come through. I've waited for We got two kind of Quebec classics. First up we have poutine, and then we also have a brie burger. Yeah, honey. So it was a little bit too cloudy this morning to get a sunrise seeing as we're facing east but we are getting a little bit of the other side of the sunset which is really pretty and just like a glowy haze over the orange forest in the background. Alan's making a fire. So it's just feeling very cozy now that we're back. Like listen to the crackle. That I'm afraid But we can make it go away I hope you hear the things I say When I'm choked up next to you I've waited for a lifetime for you To come down Oh, nothing feels the same We are making a super easy, lazy dinner tonight. Just a little sheet pan of chicken and Brussels sprouts and onion. And all my friends are wasting time and I'm afraid I'm wasting mine. But if you talk to me...
So I bought this oat creamer to try for the first time from Elmhurst and it's actually pretty good. Non-dairy, unsweetened, and yeah. Doesn't like curdle or anything, which is really nice. Like with this on, yeah. But like, think about like how there was a time where like we as humans had to like live in this. Because this isn't even like winter weather. No. Right? Like, it probably gets pretty cold up here. morning reset today. I'm about to do my skincare and makeup. I'm all dressed. We are heading to Montreal today. Today is a little bit more of an out and about day. Yesterday we definitely had more of a relaxing day even though we were out and about like a little bit. Today is definitely even more out and about if that makes sense. It's about an hour drive because we're currently near Tremblant so it's about an hour drive which isn't too bad. It's just about 10 o'clock now, so we'll probably get in to Montreal for like 11.30, I feel like. I feel like I'll probably be ready in like 15 to 20 minutes. Maybe a little bit longer. We'll see how long I end up being, but we're already all packed up, ready to go to our next place because we're staying in the Eastern Townships next for just one night just to get a little bit of a feel for around down that area. I look like a shiny egg right now, but it has been some beautiful fall days, like the perfect fall weather, not like freezing cold, but cool, like a nice cool chill breeze. So today I am cozier, but like a little bit fancy cozier because I think we're gonna do a nice dinner tonight in Montreal. I have no idea where, we'll probably just like walk around. It's a Tuesday, so I'm hoping it's not too busy in terms of like needing a reservation in Montreal but I'm wearing like very much Scandinavian vibes today. I have an oversized chunky sweater on and then like a long dress underneath and I'm going to throw on a leather jacket and leather boots and I think it's going to be a very cute outfit but I'm going to do some like minimal just my normal minimal makeup routine I think today. Makeup is done. I'm just finishing up getting ready by putting on my jewelry and all of the joy pieces that I'm wearing today are from Hey Harper and they are partnering with me on today's video. Hey Harper is the original waterproof jewelry brand. All of their pieces are 100% waterproof, will never tarnish, the colors will never fade and they are having a month-long November Black Friday sale so that you guys can treat yourself, give yourself a little bit of self-care and be able to have a stress-free shopping environment because the sale is all month long so you can pick out your favorite pieces and they are going to be 50% off and you guys can use my code, it's just Dear Vanessa, and that'll gain you access to the sale all month long. All of the pieces that I'm wearing today will be linked down in the description box as well, as well as I have a few other ones to show you. First up is this little oyster ring. I think it's so pretty and it just sits so nice like that. There's like a little pearl at the top. I thought it was really pretty as well as I got these little studs that are so pretty. And the other pieces are 
these two rings here as well as the necklace that I just put on and then their wave bracelet which is just stunning I think it's a beautiful addition to any outfit but those are all the pieces again a big thank you to hey harper for partnering with me on today's video and really promoting self-care and self-love this month as i took a little self-care trip obviously this video has really been just about slowing down and taking some time for yourself and so you guys definitely deserve to treat yourselves as well and pick yourself up something nice for black friday but again a big thank you to hey harper for partnering with me on today's video now Alan and I are going to make our way to Montreal. Like I said, it's about an hour drive, so we have a little bit of a drive ahead of us. Probably gonna pick up lunch and just like walk around all the little stores and stuff there. I'm excited because I haven't been there in over a year. Went for the first time last summer and now I'm excited to go back. So that's what we're getting up to today. interesting to me how quiet Montreal is not in the summer I know it's like a weekday too but it's now kind of closing hours are done and it's still so quiet and dead we walked a good portion of the city in about an hour kind of just wandering around a little bit we might grab like a dessert or something but honestly had a pretty big lunch so I don't know if we're gonna get dinner but and then we're gonna head over to Knolltown and like eastern townships where our second stay is I should get another one to match, like a white one or something. All right, picked up a little mocha at Cafe Olimpico and then also picked up a matching mug for the one that I got last summer. I thought there was a blue one that was really, really pretty. There's this little path in Nulltown, in the little town we're staying in, and it's all lit up. It also has like little Halloween things going on. So we thought we'd take a quick little walk, see what it's all about. Off for a little evening grocery run to pick up some snacky dinner goods. Here's a little spread of everything that we got. So we got a baguette to have some balsamic vinegar and olive oil with, some sparkling apple juice, three different types of cheese, a little meat assortment, and then some rosemary and raisin crackers. I think we're gonna set it up on here and have just like a nice little charcuterie board. We already kind of just came in and set our stuff everywhere and I forgot to do a little tour. But this is where we're staying in Knolltown. So it's a two bed. First bedroom is up here. It also is like super dark in here, but very cute. My kitchen is also super cute. All very white, minimal gold aesthetic. We already have our snacks, snacky dinner going on. And then this is the second bedroom. The bathroom is what got me. It is stunning. Like this tub is very echoey in here. And then this is the shower. It's absolutely stunning.
are on the road once again. taking a little pit stop in Brockville. We're grabbing some Dairy Queen, some little blizzards, and then I think we're gonna go head down to the water and there's the Thousand Islands and just walk around for a little bit. Kind of extending our trip because we're not in like a big rush to get home. Um, Cause we already were going to get home at around like five. So making it get home at around six or 6.30 doesn't make that much of a difference. So we're taking a little deep. The go-to is getting a brownie blizzard and then adding cookie dough pieces. So good. We're currently, or like have been, driving down the Thousand Islands Parkway and we just took one of the little pull-offs to just take like a little walk down on the trails by the water. I think there's another little trail we can walk down, but it's been such a peaceful drive and the colors here are also so pretty. Obviously not like right right here, but as we've been driving, the colors have been really nice. So it's been just like a nice peaceful drive. Like 401, the highway is not the nicest highway. Um, in the sense that like there's not a lot going on, but the colors on this little off-route highway have been stunning. almost home so I'm gonna end off this little road trip travel vlog here I really hope you guys enjoyed and I love you all so much I will see you all in the next video bye